So the barn that we're in is part of the North Carolina School for the Deaf and it's part of the state's historic registry. It goes back to the 30s, 1930s, and we are really excited to bring it back to life in this new form here for the North Carolina School of Science and Math. It's actually being used by our students, by our faculty, by our community partners as a space to have all sorts of events and activities in. It's not a classroom, as you can see, although our music program is using it as one currently. We're using it for concerts, we're using it for lectures, using it for banquets. You can see the space currently is designed for a special event for folks coming in across the community and across our institution to celebrate its introduction to the community. So we're really excited that it has this multi-purpose use and the way that it was really set up to do that was with some very strategic modifications to the design of the building. So the space above my head used to be a ceiling that ran the entire length of the barn and we actually pulled that out to create this effect of barn ceiling all the way down to barn floor and it, as you can see it is largely original as designed. Uh, we have protected the shell and as much of the interior as we possibly could but we wanted to create this real moment when you walk in to recognize the history and the heritage of this space but also functionally make it have the highest utility uh, for things ranging across all those different activity types we, we talked about. So the barn is first and foremost an asset for our educational program. So it is used by our faculty, our students, and our administrative team here on site to be able to deliver the NCSSM experience. Recognizing that's not a 24-7, 365 demand load on this building, we wanted to make sure there was opportunities for it to be used to serve other needs in our region. So we actually have a host of community partners, and I say community, it's really regional, state partners that range from state agencies to our elected officials to county-based agencies, nonprofits, our public school partners in the region, all the way through to some folks who've invested in this program and in this facility uh, to help bring it to life. We have a recognition wall that really celebrates those most generous donors who've stepped up over the last five and a half years, and they have made gifts that total more than $12 million to this campus. Without their support, this building would not be habitable today. It would look like it did when we inherited it, which is to say that it was cobweb, there was no modern amenities inside, no plumbing, electricity, restroom facilities, certainly no network or security to the facility. We have really tried to harness the vibe on campus and bring it to this building without going too far and and taking away from the history and the heritage of, of the campus and the building. We had a lot of discussion going back, wow, well, to 2017 around how to design the campus. And the barn probably was one of those points we talked about the most. It was never a question of if we should preserve it and rehabilitate it and open it up for program. It was a question of how to do so and how the area around the barn should come to be. There was a number of folks who said, let's put a large parking lot next to the barn, which is very logical when you think about 460 people could come into this building for an event. And as it stands right now, there's I think three parking spaces outside the barn. Uh, but by design, we said we cannot do that because if you actually take a step outside the barn and you look around this space, you're looking down to Western Piedmont Community College and the South Mountains to the south, to the north, you see our beautiful barn lawn, our new campus, and then the summits of Grandfather and Table Rock and, and on and on to the north. So we did not want to spoil this moment with a huge asphalt parking lot that would be empty most of the time. And so by design, we have kept an effort on preserving the rolling hills surrounding it, having a few kind of lookouts um, that are both the patios on the north and south, but also the veranda to the east. And so all of that was very intentional. Um, it, 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 flies a little bit of the face in that of an event venue because it's putting the event venue service second to the experience of being on this campus and where it happens to sit. 